Bien, llegamos al final de nuestra entrevista con Piotr Bechawa, en la que nos va a hablar del de registro agudo, de la manera de alcanzar esa zona que tanto nos preocupa, no solo a los tenores, sino a todas las voces. Y vamos a terminar la entrevista con bueno, pues una serie de consejos que él nos ofrece para jóvenes cantantes y para estudiantes. Espero que haya sido de vuestro interés y os espero en la próxima. Un saludo. For for all the singers, not not only for tenors, high notes are, are the question. Of course, and it's pretty complicated because, in my opinion, I was a short tenor. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, uh, I think the mostly of a high note problem is not here. Is 20 centimeters <laughs> above? Yeah, uh, stress. Uh, People then don't know how to do, yeah. because first you have to. Im we are back to yeah. imagination. You have to imagine. I have it, and I have it, and this has this my, my high C or my D flat or something has this kind of form, and then I just do it. Well, I think it's just physically. Not complicated. I mean, mm -hmm. vocal cords are, don't care. They are singing uh, C1, C2, or it's maybe yeah. more tension around. But to be honest, each baritone has a high C because the vocal cords can do it. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest of the body uh, can't because uh, you have to be able as a tenor to hold the, the whole to hold the tension of the Tessitura mm -hmm. all the time, and you have to find to the enjoyment to do this. If you see somebody who is very relaxed, you know, okay, a tenor voice, but slow person. Mm -hmm. You know what you know I mean? Yeah. Tenors are quicker because we have to think faster to imagine this yeah. high notes. Uh, And we have to work on it, on the how quick I can think. I should think sh uh, quicker than, than my voice. Mm -hmm. Because I have to imagine it before it happens. When uh, I have a stress situation and don't imagine the high note and just try to do it. When I'm young and, and able to do it, no problem. But there was a moment in career that the youthness, the, the freshness is over. Yeah. And then you have to know how to do this. And in my opinion, and I, I was listening also a big masters from the past, you know, from my, my favorite mm -hmm. uh, uh, is uh, the old guy, La Forese, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. singing with 90. You know, okay, he has always easy to There's no, no question. But for me, most interesting is how he support how he's, you know, with 92. Yeah. And in this old man posture, because he has no muscles, he has just a, a, a belly, and then you can see how he take the bread and how he manage the support. It's fascinating. Uh, I will never s s sing in, with 92. Uh, <laughs> Who knows? No, I don't know. <laughs> I, I know because I don't want. <laughs> But it's fascinating to, to, to observe those, those things. And, you know, his idea about high notes was just uh, close the vocal cords and, and support a little bit. It was, for him, was no difference with a, uh, a C, E flat, E. He sunk all this repertoire, I, I mean, uh, all these notes. I was also checking for myself. I have a fa. Who cares? Yeah. I never would use it on the stage. But for, for me, when I was at home, I was practicing, I really tried to invent for me uh, how far can I go without damaging something. Yeah. 
and when I, okay, I have I have a far that C is nothing. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you have to think about okay, but fa is ugly. It's just a function of this of yeah. the of the vocal cords. But I need a beautiful sound. Then I have to modify it, the idea of just making noise to changing it to the artistically sound. And that's a different thing because when you think too much about roundness, too much about I don't know, some color ideas in the I'm talking about acuti, about really a, a si, si naturale, uh, do, and uh, you know, to this is. You have to really think about, stay concrete, stay straight. Don't try to find a, a beautiful uh, color on C sharp, because there's no color. You have to work on the yeah. color before, and then doesn't change. But when you think, okay, now I'm I'm attacking a C sharp. No, it's no way. That's why the, the okay. all the sounds, all the notes written by composers for my fach, for my type of voice, mm -hmm. are triumph or something extra. It's never a, a beautiful line to the high C. Of course, uh, Faust, but this is French music. Yeah. That's, you know, it's another style. But when you take Puccini, you know, La Speranza, mm -hmm. you're welcome. You know? Di quella pira, you're welcome. Most, most of those are really exciting moments. Yes. And uh, of course, Donizetti Bellini, there's another style. Yeah. I did it. But you, you have to, you have to be really a high, uh, high tenor to do this without stress, because stress situation always bring you to the to the corner. Yeah. You know? And then you have to, you desperately find, try to find a solution, and that's actually too late. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's let's talk about the jaw because you know I, I have seen that you move your jaw um, down and back more than other singers used to do. Uh, what, what what do you do your song gain with with that? Well, it's also very individual. Yeah. Uh, because when I started to sing, I I, I have a, some problem. Then I have to remove. You know, take exercises to have access to my flexibility. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the one reason. Second reason, you need to really space for the voice. Yeah. Uh, I didn't move my 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 my, my kin so far when I sang Mozart. You know, mm -hmm. songs also you don't need it, but. In, in, the, in, the, in the Italian music, for example, you, you need more space. You, you have to be able to create, as you say, in each direction mm -hmm. space. It's not only pulling it down, it's also creating space there. Mm. And it's everything connected. It's just my physicality like that. But uh, when somebody singing also relaxing because you know mm -hmm. it's the thing is not to have any tension here uh, when you try to relax and you can still say the the, the, the vowels and, 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 and consonants you are fine it's 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 a little bit work because it's as I say it's, it's really individual yeah. then just to finish uh, I usually make a question that I like that is uh, what advice would you give to a young singer that you were never given? <laughs> no, I, 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 the thing is, I have a luck in my life. And I met very fantastic people, they, like Sena Yurinats, for example, mm -hmm. like Pavel Lisitsian, like Dave Fanling. Uh, they give me the knowledge, but advice, the best advice what I got from Sana Yurinats. They should, with 22, leave the Cavaradossi, take Mozart. It works for me, but advice, basically advice, have a patience. Have just patience. 
for, for your life, for your, for your work. Mm -hmm. Because I was patient, because it's, it's in my character. Mm -hmm. I was slower, you know, with decisions, with changing repertory, with uh, development. Uh, but I know not everybody is like that. And young people, they want to make career. They, mm -hmm. they want to... And I always say, career is not important. When you are a good singer, you will make a career. But you will, when you want to be uh, a star, that's not working. Yeah, it's working for short time. And uh, a career of opera singer is at least thirty-five years. Mm -hmm. You have to enjoy possibility to go through the some interesting roles. Uh, with fifteen years of career. You will never do this mm -hmm. if you did the wrong, you will do the wrong way because uh, you know it's a, there's a thousand examples for yeah. singing starting uh, dramatic and then you know yeah. going down and it's not only in our time it was always like that yes uh, but really patience it's really something very very important and uh, well. Luck in life is also not so yeah. <laughs> unimportant, you know, to make the right people in the right time. Of course. And have the courage to say no. I've said no many, many, many times. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually the result of saying no was after a while, after years, <laughs> everybody saying, are you stupid? Why, why you don't do this or do this? And well, now I'm right, but uh, in that time it was really complicated. You know, saying no to Metropolitan Opera. Yeah, it's hard. In the, in the role <laughs> when I really can, you know, they doesn't act, uh, doesn't act me, uh, ask me for for Tello. It was Tamino, mm -hmm. but Tamino already was was over me, you know, and it was just stupid to sing in the Metropolitan Opera, Tamino, you no. Know. And I was saying no once, saying no twice. I said, well, when they don't invite me again, no problem. <laughs> no? It's great. <laughs> it wasn't my plan to sing in Metropolitan Opera yeah. Covent Garden. It was it just happened. You know, when you go and you go better and better, it's it's a matter of time. <laughs> you know? It's the quality. The quality is the most important thing. That's why I'm singing indirectly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much for this interview. I think that is Thanks. very interesting. Thank you.